everybody. Welcome back to Kicking in the Second Half, Kish YZ. We have episode 25 here for you. I'm your host, D, back again with you. What up, you? Hey, what's going on? This is supposed to be a big episode because it's number 25, but I don't feel like it's that big because 24 was pretty big when we did the MVPs. But anyway, we're going to talk about the shadows. Who's living in the shadows? Who's creeping out of the shadows? Who's getting into the shadows? Let's get into it, Hugh. You want to start it off with a little something? What you got? Who you? Who All we, right. We I want to shout we, out. Shout out to 36 subscriber. We haven't gotten him yet or her, but they'll be here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. No good. Yeah, we'll keep growing. We'll keep growing. What are you just staring for? You? What do you want me to say? If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. And if you're just joining us, yeah, please subscribe to our channel so you can get our new drops uh, when we do our podcasts, sneaker reviews, unboxings, uh, debates, PPFs. Who we got to do another one of those soon, where we break down a player individually for the past, present, and then their future uh, predicted through our eyes and, you know, some other content that we're working on getting out there, Hugh. Yeah. Hey, if anybody, if anybody on here listens to us on Spotify, Anchor FM, uh, any of those things, uh, we appreciate the support. We appreciate our, our listeners only, but I mean, at some point when you get some free time, uh, I think you should definitely check out our YouTube because y'all probably are clueless about half the time what's going on. When like there's some silence and stuff, most of the time D's just staring at me. So I don't want everybody to just think I'm crazy. But yeah, so if you listen to us, be sure to check us out on YouTube. Give us a sub. Uh, but we do appreciate even the audio only listeners. We appreciate all the support we get. Um, yeah, like D said, you know we got a lot of uh, a lot of what's the word I'm looking for? A lot of things we do on the channel. You know, it's not just you know podcasts. We do debates and a bunch of other fun stuff. Shoes. So. Uh, we do a little bit of everything, but yeah, you know, if you uh, if you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. You know, if you're subscribed, we appreciate you. If you're not subscribed, uh, give me a sub. No tomatoes, not a fan of those, but but yeah, we just appreciate all you guys' support and the ones that uh continue to grind with us and watch our videos and give us feedback. We appreciate that. I mean, hey, before I get into this episode, because you know we already talked, you know what we're talking about with the shadows here. It's 25, man. Hey, this we're two months in now. I think it. Today might actually be our two month anniversary from when we started. Hey man, it doesn't sound like a lot of podcasts like like twenty five, but you know we got more than twenty five different types of videos out there. But yeah, twenty five podcast episodes. You know, some of those yeah. were part like two parter episodes too. Hey, Brooklyn and uh, Lakers was a three part. But that was broken into different things. I was like a debate, then went into a podcast, and then a sec, and then a secondary podcast for the third part of that. So we got like hey. two different things on that. Hey, hey, just a real quick appreciation going. though, not just our subscribers, but just you know, just to recap. I mean, last month we ended up with thirty-five subscribers by May first. I donated uh, thirty-five dollars to the Limbs for Life organization because uh, April was Limb Loss Awareness Month. Uh, but throughout the history of our channel so far we've had our special guest uh your bud 36 shout out to him he's a streamer a video game streamer on twitch uh you can catch me playing overwatch with him sometimes on saturdays i'm not a, a streamer for video games but i'll participate in his stream as far as uh one of the characters that's on the screen but he you just participated was it last week i think it was last yeah. week you participated at his house during his game stream uh live so you know they got to see your face as well as his and as he commentated and walked you through, what, where were y'all playing? Y'all were playing like retro game night in 64, Super Mario 64. Uh, game, right? Super Mario 64, yeah. So that was interesting to see. I, yeah, I can't wait for y'all to do that again. Hopefully y'all dress up like Mario and Luigi. Uh, speaking of that, yeah, we've done a role play on here, bro. Like we've done a couple role plays. Uh, I think we'll do another one. You know, I think we're going to oh, do boy. like a Kawhi PG when it gets a little bit closer oh, to playoffs. So right in. That'd be cool. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. We'll get that in. We'll be hey, teammates that you're time. Kawhi. You're Kawhi. You're Kawhi. Oh, you got no. his person. I'm not Kawhi. You're bro. I'm PG. You're Kawhi. Bro, I mean, you you can do his person. I haven't done that forever. I haven't done no, that. No, you did his laugh ever. like today I mean, or yesterday. I just can't give you the whole spill. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, can I give a, a special shout out? Yeah, give a special shout out. Yeah, I want to give 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 a special shout out to UD. You know why? Who? T 
to you. It's it, it's Dee's birthday today, May fifth. Hey, thanks, bro. I Cinco de Mayo. It. Yeah. So so happy birthday, D. Hope it's a good one. You got off work for a couple of days. Hope you have a nice long weekend. We are going out Saturday. Yeah, Having that's another time. thing we might get into. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I'll see if we're brave enough to do uh, some type of vlog. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, we talked about that. We're gonna be, you know, yeah, going, going out, do a little bit shopping as a group. Uh, we'll do definitely some photos, put it on IG. Uh, maybe I can actually do a post this time, and I just uh, story mode everything. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll be there. I can help you with it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but yeah, we got, we got myself, you, uh, your bud thirty six. And some of our other uh, guys that we're working with, uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, Michael from Tavern Geek won't be there and Cousin Fred uh, couldn't make it, so he won't be there. But, yeah, we'll show you some of the other guys. We'll, we'll, we'll you know, come with us. We'll, we'll show you what we're working with. What we're we got, we got some behind the scenes guys that y'all y'all go, y'all going to be able to see. That's for some sure. Of yeah, our, some, uh, some of our that, analytics. Yeah, some of our guys that, you know, help inspire what we do do for this channel here as far as like the ppfs you know like when i say shout out to jeff when i'm talking about some of the shoes and the reviews and and when we're doing the ppfs that came about because he was a first-time basketball uh fantasy player and you know he knew a little bit about certain players but not a whole lot so i was like hey Hugh, when we do this this podcast man let's get on here and just you know break down a player individually as if you know, we're trying to explain it to Jeff, just a quick synopsis, nothing too detailed. Some of them are a little detailed, but just something to kind of run around like, hey, you've heard of this guy. This is where he's at this year. Like when we started out doing the earlier guys like Sabonis and, and Brogdon, like, hey, uh, yeah, Sabonis is an all-star 2021, second year all-star, blah, blah, blah. And then we get into, uh, OK, well, this is where he was drafted. This is how long he's been in the league. This is what he's accomplished. And then we get into wrapping it up with uh, future predictions from uh, both of us of, OK, this is where we see this guy going in his career, you know, injuries aside, unless he's a real injury prone guy. And, OK, this guy might stay with this team where this guy might wind up being traded or looking to go elsewhere, may or may not win a championship or may ultimately become a Hall of Famer. But yeah, we just do a little bit of that. But yeah, shout out to Jeff again. And yeah, also along the way in these, uh, this two-month journey, uh, what was it, the end of March, early April? It was about a month ago, right? About a month ago, you say? We, uh, we you know, got introduced. We, uh, we met up with, I don't want to say met up, but like on, the, on social media, we uh, met DeJondas the all-star and uh, it was right after uh cousin fred and i did the ppf for um who was that donovan mitchell you did uh, donovan mitchell yeah. because of because of salt lake city and uh the john just commented on there and that's how we met him it was through through that video there that that was our, our biggest ppf actually it still is at the moment of this video it's still our biggest ppf uh watched video there and then, you know, you and I, who followed up with uh, Rudy Gobert as well, just to, uh, because both of those guys were, you know, were all stars this year. And they were kind of just basically people that were overlooked. And, uh, and then we did a spinoff on podcasts from that as well. But yeah, we met him. That was pretty cool. And, and uh, he, you know, he's doing big things. Check him out on his uh, YouTube page. He's got a couple of videos. He's actually trying to get one of his uh, music videos up to 100,000 likes because he sent us some promo of his new songs and, and I'm feeling them. Uh, there's a couple of songs there that I really, really like and I want to get into TikTok and and maybe put uh, use his uh, promo songs for the samples there. But, but yeah, shout out to DeJondas and any Salt Lake City, Utah jazz fans out there. I mean, the whole year basically just kind of been under the ra radar and you're not in the shadows, obviously, because of your record and how great you're doing. But yeah, just kind of disrespecting people don't talk about you enough. But yeah, shout out to all those all those fans there. And um, what what else have we been doing, Hugh? Anything you want to touch right. on on We've our been... two journey? I mean, this is episode twenty five. So just before we jump into this, just want to kind of tell people where we're at if they're just now tuning in from here on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean th this week and last week. We kind of cooled down, uh, you know, like uh, we've had some stuff going on. We ain't been uploading every night, but man, like there was probably like a month span or at least a two, three weeks span. We were like uploading like six days a week. Like we was grinding like every night. Like we, like me and D, we work, we get off at 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern time here. So, I mean, we don't, you know, we don't start these videos, you know, 11, 12 p.m. Like right now it's, 
one or three a.m. So like we starting this from late, late, but like we so we grinding, man. We putting them out, but we we just hope y'all enjoy them. We appreciate all the support, feedback, even the dislike. We we appreciate that. D told me one time he said we gonna know we got one popping off when we get a dislike, and we got a dislike. So I mean that just hey, I mean we appreciate we appreciate hey you know if you don't agree with stuff we say in the videos, if you don't like what we got to say about somebody, I mean let us know. We we don't mind a uh, criticism. Uh, it makes us better. But uh, yeah, but everybody is entitled to their own opinion, especially with sports. You know, everybody has their everybody has their own opinion when it comes to sports. So we just want to hear y'all's and the more feedback, the better. So yeah, we just appreciate all y'all and you know all the support we've got and all the support we're gonna get. And, you know, the subs we've had from day one to the newest thirty fifth sub. Uh, you know, to the to the rest we get. So I mean, we just appreciate each and every one of y'all. We do it for y'all. Um, you know, we talk about basketball all the time, at, you know, together when we're in person anyway. So, I mean, this is for, for y'all to, to learn, you know, our inputs and what we think as people that watch basketball daily and keep up with it daily and big, big basketball people. So, yeah, just we appreciate each and every one of y'all. Yeah, like you said, man, we, you know, the dislike, there's nothing wrong with that. We take the criticism and we get, you know, some feedback from our, our friends at work that listen and subscribe to our channel as well. But, you know, one of the things we commonly say on here is what, Hugh, you know, don't do they, do you. And that's that's why we're here. Obviously, you're here and you're listening because of the opinions. Uh, facts, you can just look up facts. You can Google, you know, stats for a player. But, you know, we're here to provide an insight as far as what we think is happening with these players through our perspective. And that's where the Kish YZ comes in, the YZ, the, the Z and the Y generations here, you know, just kind of how we may view something in the same perspective or just different just because of what we may or may have not seen in the past and how we're comparing it to uh, the present and then going to the future so it's almost like everything with us is like a ppf almost you the way we talk about things sometimes and and, and battles and debates and even when we're talking off camera uh you know just preparing for the podcast and how we just come up and formulate with our different ideas and opinions like okay well we're not agreeing on that so let's just turn that into a debate episode and we'll make it a debate so yeah if you're if you're listening to this on the uh the anchor.fm or spotify you know wherever we're at on the podcast services for the audio only you know those debates I, we don't have those debates on that you have to come to youtube under kish yz to uh hear and view those debates that we do as well as the shoes so um you know like i said the, uh, the audio only is just for our podcast and, and our PPFs at the moment and a couple other things I plugged in there, but but mostly that's it. But um, yeah, Hugh, you know, two months in, bro. Like, I didn't know how it was going to be. This is a spinoff of Tavern Geeks, so shout out to Micah because, you know, I started doing it with him for, what was it, a month, month and a half. Like, we got like two or three episodes in because it was like bi-weekly. We were doing it on a Friday night. And just because of the way our schedules worked up for the group there. And then we, we went into this, we went into this, like basically the second half of the season. And we called it kicking in the second half because of, you know, the spinoff from the Tavern Geek podcast when we talk about NBA stuff there, but then also as well as starting in the second half of the NBA season. And then, you know, you know, that's, we just kind of came up with that. And that's how we get Kish. I know it sounds weird, but when you understand what it means, that's, that's where it came from. K I S H kicking it then in the second half. So yeah. You came up with that name. So yeah, all credit to you on that one. Not, that ain't a wee thing. That's a you thing right there. Yeah, I had to, I had to run it by you. You liked it. You liked it. You know, getting kicked if out. If anybody's stuff, curious so. about our picture, I just randomly took that one time. Like that wasn't even like a scripted that picture's like a year old. That wasn't even a that like profile picture. We just got some business cards on there. So that's I mean, a profile picture. That's hey, let, picture. Let it's like know. it's that's, just like a it's just that's a, a normal... profile picture for Instagram and Twitter. That's not the picture for oh, the YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. You got your little design on on here. Yeah, but uh, yeah. yeah. If anybody's curious, I feel like uh, that needed to be said. That picture, yeah, it was just like a where were we at? <laughs> yeah, we were in the grocery store, bro. We, we were in the grocery like store for that picture. That no was mask. just like it was a snap. I was walking I down the aisle. You just like. You ran and taking pictures of me. I'm like, dude, I don't do social media, bro. And you were over there snapping. Well, I wasn't stuff. doing you. No, I think I was just sending a snap. To I think you were trying like, to snap a, a photo to somebody, it. like Snapchat it. You were Snapchatting. Yeah, that's why I said I was snapping it. Yeah. That's what I mean, snapping it. Yeah, I was snapping it to somebody. I just like, hey, that's a good pic. and saved it. And yeah, little did I know. <laughs> yeah, I told you to send that to me. That's what happened. 
Yeah, you liked it. Hey, you got to post on there a picture of me and you in a box and let people see that. Eat, mm, you got to let people see that. Oh, yeah. There's Shout out to Nate Tasty by Heather, another box. one of our subscribers. Yeah, she took that picture. We, we put it, maybe I put it on the IG where we got into, uh, yeah. that was that was pre-COVID as well. We helped them move some boxes, some furniture, and we were in a box. And I was like, hey, we can use this later for some type of content. And that was that was definitely before we thought about doing the podcast. So put that put that on IG. It'd probably be funny. It'd probably meme it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a meme. It probably will be. Somebody will do it. Maybe uh, your bud thirty six. He likes the memes. You ready to get rolling? I mean, I guess we're ready to get rolling. I mean, anything else you want to give a sentiment about over this two month journey? I mean, yeah, two months don't seem like much on paper, but we've like you said, we covered a lot in two months. Hey, we finally got all of your immediate family, all of my immediate family subscribed. <laughs> that was a two month process. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> shout out, shout out the fam, bro. Yeah, shout out the fam for real. For real. You still here? Oh no. You look frozen in my end, bro. Should I start singing a song or what? Hubert. Hugh, you still on here, bro? Did I lose you? No, I'm I'm here. Yeah, you just like froze. Did you lose you me? You froze for like 10 seconds out uh, here now. But it's like right. Oh, it, ha- it happens so I don't occasionally. Know which it happens occasionally. Like, I'm probably the one they didn't hear because I didn't see you and I was just start talking. I was like, you're froze. I was like, should I start singing Frozen, the theme song, just to pass some time until it starts you know, going again? But apparently I was just talking to myself. Mm-hmm. You know, just simple it, glitch. It happens, every, <laughs> it happens occasionally. It's all right. But yeah, yeah we've been glitching a little bit the last last ep- couple episodes, but that was pretty bad right there. I don't know how yeah. that's going to show up, but yeah, we're still yeah, here. Yeah. We're still here. If you listen to audio only, it, it probably doesn't affect it because I've listened to some of those just straightforward, and I'm just like, yeah, you can't really tell. No, so, but good. you're watching YouTube, it's probably like, oh, oh no. But anyway, yeah, Hugh. So uh, that was a prelude. Let's get right into the episode, episode 25, The Shadows. So, what do you want to start with? Let's start with in the shadows. Who's in the shadows? So, like, you know, when we say in the shadows, we're kind of – it's like you could you could look at it two different ways. You can look at it as players or teams that are in the shadows as far as, like, they're not talked about enough because you forgot about them. They're in the shadows. Like, they're living in an alley and nobody's going down that alley. Or you can look at people who just basically um, – are burying themselves like underground, so to speak, where they're relevant, but they're making themselves irrelevant uh, because of they should be doing a little bit more. So uh, I kind of look at it as both ways, but I do like to do more so of the people living in the alley, the alley people, as far as like, they should have been talked about this season, but why weren't they? You want to go back and forth with this or just how you want to do this? Yeah, back and forth is fine. You can, you can roll with it first. You can do the first Back and forth. I, just want to go I only, got, I only got four. I got four. I, so. I just recently took notes because I just kind of had this freestyle in my head. And I was like, man, maybe I should put more down. But, you know, just what I had outside of notes to begin with when I thought about this episode was just Darren Fox. Because I had him in fa- I have him in one of the fantasy leagues that we have. And I was just like, man, you know, he's out for COVID right now. And I was just like, dude, this dude is like, this is the guy that obviously it was like the face of the team going forward for the rebuild or for the future with all the young pieces that they got and the way the team is. But I was, I was expecting more from him this season. Not that he was an all-star, but it's like, he should have been talked about like, Hey, could he have possibly been like a replacement for the all-star when you consider, you know, when some of the injuries happen or like AD being replaced by who, but like De'Aaron Fox had, has all the opportunity. He's like basically the guy who gets to eat first for the Sacramento Kings but, you know, with him missing time and then still kind of winning some games with Tyrese Halliburton, it's kind of making me, like, throw up in the air, like, man, is he going to stay kind of where he's at in the shadow or is he, like, actually going to climb out of that? But, like, I felt like this is one of the guys that should have been talked about a lot more in the season because I was expecting more from him. And it's not that he's a bad player. I mean, he's a great player. And it's just, like, I mean, sometimes it depends on what team, what market you're in uh, as far as how much publicity and, news media report you get but for me it's just wasn't enough to suffice to even mention him on the likes of like a 
Donovan Mitchell because of where they're at and record wise. But at the same time, I felt like Tyrese Halliburton took a lot of shine there as far as who to talk about down there in Sacramento, because he was, he's playing great ball for rookie, man. You know, at some point there, it almost looked like, man, can he compete for rookie of the year award back? What do you think? He maybe around January or something. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, bro. Wow, bro. Yeah. I'm glad you mentioned earlier, like how early, how late this is. That was like a, I hope that was like a wake up beyond. You hit the gym today, didn't you? Yeah, I just got him a little bit ago from the gym. Step on this, you step on the scale and stare at the number. Yeah, she topped, she dropping 10 pounds preparing for summer. Yeah, exactly. That's you. Shout out, Dr- you shout out Jersey. She. Man, Jersey ain't listening to this, bro. The only Jersey we're going to get is like raindrops. Drop top. Sorry, Migos. <laughs> shout out, Migos. Um, this guy <laughs> likes his, his trap music. Like this. Bro. Drake ain't trap music. We need to do it. And all about you. I know that, but you know what you I mean. You like the mobile episode. stuff. Then we can real have it. Hey, shout out 21. Um, shout out to right. Dwayne, man. How did we not shout out to, to Dwayne earlier when we were talking about everybody? Because Dwayne, he listens to like all of these mm-hmm. and he'll comment on some and tell us face to face at work. Yeah. There it goes again. Everybody, I hope you see that. Hugh is just like ready to pop some cheeses in that mouth. He's probably got some goldfish in that beard, by the way, too. It's clean. I just look. Yep, down. I just saw one fall out. One fish, two fish. All right, all right. You can get so banned my, like Doctor Zeus right here if you don't shave it. Right. I'm trimming it this weekend, but uh, thank you. The team that I first uh, have written down is uh, Chicago Bulls. Uh, for a team that's in the shadow, in my opinion, the whole um, team, the whole team. Yeah, Actually, I wrote yeah, down the I went with the whole team. Because so um, you think they're in the shadow? Like, okay, what do you mean by by the Bulls? Like, what makes them in the shadow? Do you think they were in the shadows the whole season, or is this something that's happening now? Well, I mean, I think early in the season, um, they were at least in a playing spot. But I mean, as of late, they've just been losing. I know Zach Levine's currently out with COVID, but it's just like two guys you are extremely high on is Kobe White and Laurie Marketing, and I don't think either Bro, of those Kobe guys. Kobe White was on my list. Sorry, I'm trying not to speak over you too much, but. I know we were trying to go back and forth, but Kobe White was on my list here as an individual. Or in the shadow? Yeah, man, because I wanted more. I expected more from him from a fantasy standpoint. You know we talked about that in fantasy. I was trying to trade him to you because I was like, dude, you know, you can get value out of him because down the stretch, he should get better over the course of the season. He's starting. He's the primary guy. They have um, uh, Donovan. Donovan. I I don't want to say Donovan Mitchell, but Donovan. Bill Donovan. Denzel Valentine. Is that his name? No, the coach, the coach, the oh. the old OKC coach that likes to basically help farm and develop players. Like, I was just looking oh, forward okay. to Kobe White. Like, okay, he should make a big step from last year to this year, not be an all-star type of player. Like, I'm not looking not at him like, oh, that's John Moran. I'm just looking at him like, yeah, he's in a bigger role. He's in an expanded role. They have Zach Levine. They're always looking for another number two option. Boom, that's his time. If Laurie Markin is coming off injury, boom. Kobe White should be getting in there. He should be getting the reps in. And it just didn't pan out the way I thought. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you. So, I mean, you know, it's, just, it's those two guys, young guys that I had expected a lot more from, and they aren't, you know, producing the way most people probably anticipated. Um, the other one is, is the Vucevic trade. You know, the Vucevic trade was, was pretty big news uh, the day of the deadline. Nobody really expected it, but it happened. And while we didn't think, you know, that would make them a, a top team in the East, we definitely thought that that would add power to them. Plus, they got Tice. So, I mean, they really upgraded, um, you know, the, the five spot with them. Well, Tice can play four, too. But, you know, they really upgraded the center spot there. And, I mean, it just – I mean, Vucevic's a, a great player. But, it, I mean, it just hasn't produced that many more wins, I don't think. I mean, since it happened, they've actually dropped. And as of right now, they're 12th. They've even got passed by Toronto. And, you know, anybody's keeping up basketball knows how bad they've been this season. But, I mean, it's – uh. Yeah, it's just Chicago. I mean, there were a team that I at least, you know, expected to um, be in the play in, uh, whether, I mean, it was a 10 seed or, or, you know, the seventh seed. I at least expected them to be in there at some point with Kobe White marketing the Vucevic trade. You got Zach Levine, who was balling uh, most, of, most, most of this year. I just mean, I thought they had a lot of things going for them. But uh, yeah, they're just disappointing, uh, in my opinion, of where they're currently at. I mean, yeah, Zach Levine's out with COVID. But yeah, yeah, like you said, yeah. I mean, do they want to live down there? Because that's like, 
it's like they got Vucevic and just hit it in that direction. And you would think, like you said, with even with uh, Zach Levine out, you've got Vucevic. He can at least do what he did for Orlando. And it's like he's almost getting into the same situation as if he stayed in Orlando. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like uh, they got him and, and the records got worse since, which it really don't make much sense, but that's what's been happening for him. Yeah, Chicago, I'm sorry. Y'all are cursed. It's just a curse, a curse. It's just I feel for y'all. Like, you want to see greatness, but um, we talked about this in one of our podcasts that we did with special guest, Your Butt 36. Like, Zach Levine, for us, when we talked about it, it's like he'd be a great, like, second – if not third option. Like, I, I, it's just, I don't know. Like, Vucevic would be the same, it, it looks like. Put either one of those guys on the Boston Celtics this year. Get rid of Evan Fournier, please. And get one of those guys in, in that spot and package whatever you need, and boom, it's they're solid. They're solid. But the Bulls, I'm highly disappointed in that. And, yeah, they're definitely in the shadows. Let's move on from that. It's kind of toxic now. You know who else I want to mention since we're going back and forth? One of your guys, bro. One of your guys. He's in the East. I'll give you a guess. Let's play a little game here. He's in the East? He's in the East. He's one of your guys. Whoa, like, one of your that's guys. That's what, 15 teams? One of your guys. Well, Joe, like, one of the guys you really like. like Joe you Harris? shot him out sometimes. Close. You're getting close. It's not him. You're getting warmer. You're, you're in the right. Yep. That dude. Shadows. Where are you at, though, man? He started off the season great. Like, nobody talks about him. I'm sure he's doing well. I don't even look for him, man. He's hurt, He's hurt, bro. He ain't played That's what I'm saying, bro. But before he was hurt, before he yeah, was he hurt, he was, like, tapering off a little bit. Karis LeVert was putting on more points than he was. That's what I'm saying. He started to taper off. I don't know if he had, like, a pre-injury thing before he actually was ruled out. But the shadows, man. Like, the Pacers start going down in that. But, I mean, Sabonis keeps them alive. You you see some of his stats, and it's like, oh, there's the Pacers again. But, yeah, injuries have plagued them, so I don't want to put the whole team of the Pacers in the shadows. I'm not sure if you did, but I, I just wanted to point out Brogdon. I expect more from him. He started off the season so great. I think he's one of those guys that he just started getting into the shadows. He just drifted in. Like, it's just not talked about, like, the Pacers aren't really talked about. There's like the, the relevance there. Where are they seated? Because they're in the playoff, the playing position, Nine. right? Yeah, that's what I thought, somewhere around there. So, you know, there's still hope there, but it's just like, it's like a fade effect there. It's like, yeah, yeah you kind of wash over that. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you about Brogdon. I, you know, I don't have a lot more to we did say a about PP, that. You could we did a PPF. We did a PPF on him. I'm talking about how great he was playing, maybe borderline, possibly. Bro, if y'all watching this, I mean, what, because I haven't about. even, I haven't even changed the thumbnail. Like, look at the thumbnail for that. I was tired that day. That explains my feeling of Malcolm Brogdon. Now I just look like, oh, I don't want to be here. <laughs> like that's the thumbnail because it, it captured part of the video, and I was just like, oh gosh, we got to get through this. But anything else you want to say on Brogdon right there? Just uh, he dropped big time. Like when we did that PPF, you know, we talked about possibly borderline not not all-star but we're like you know he's he you know he's on track his numbers yeah. are you know close to people that are in all-star games like zach levine's like he's putting up yeah. you know close to them numbers but yeah he just since like all-star break it's just went pretty downhill for him i think that ppf jinxed him bro <laughs> might have it ruined, it. I'm, it ruined I'm a bad it. Jinx. let's move on from that hey yeah y'all will find out sooner or later how how much this guy's bad jinx i mean it's 2021 I mean, maybe the streak is broken, but 2019, 2020. I mean, there's a list. We have to do an episode just on that. We'll have to get Jeff in for that one because he, he's a witness. But let's move on. Hey, you mentioned one of these guys, this guy I have on the list. You mentioned him today. His team was just, he was playing earlier today. You just mentioned him before the podcast. You were like, what's up with him? Who is it? You were asking, does he even start? Uh, Kevin Love. Kevin Love, bro. Where he at, though? <laughs> Where is he at, though, man? Oh, bad. <laughs> you just left. The, uh, I thought that you just turned out your video feed. I'm just like, <laughs> dang, bro. He's actually going to Google this. Kevin Love still in the league. <laughs> like, I thought nah. that's what you were about to do. <laughs> Kevin Love, did he play tonight? Is he still on the Cavs roster? <laughs> Who's picking him up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kevin hey, Love, you keep man. Talking. He's you keep been talking. in the shadows. 
You keep talking. I'm going to listen to that, but I got, I'll be right back. I'm listening. I'm going to keep my AirPods in, but just BRB? keep talking. Yeah, BRB. All right, man. I mean, BRB, okay, all right. Salute. I don't know what's going on right now. He's probably seeing another ghost again. Hey, just a, a shout out. He gets ghosts over there or something. I don't know if it's the cheeses or the goldfish. They're haunting him because he's eating so many of them. I, I, I really don't know. But, yeah, Kevin Love, for me, just did basically one of those guys that he – he should be more relevant than what he is. I mean, I know he deals with injuries year after year, and that sucks too. But on top of that, playing for the Cavs, that sucks. Uh, LeBron left you, that sucks. I mean, you just got to get out of there. I mean, I think there's a lot of different situations where he could fit better. Uh, I mean, some of the teams look like they're forming different things that could work. But, I mean, I had thought at one point maybe if he went to Charlotte, that would have been cool. Uh, since he's able to shoot threes, maybe if he goes to the Golden State Warriors, Hugh, if you can hear me, I know you can, but you can't speak on it because you're not close to your phone, but uh, Kevin Love to the Golden State Warriors, I had said that as a what if, like, I don't know, maybe two years ago or maybe last year, like, that would be a good fit in my opinion, like, you know, get a slow rehab there because they can make a playoff I'll push with just Curry, Draymond, and uh, Clay, welcome back, Hugh. And, you know, just have him there as he rehabs, kind of like a DeMarcus Cousins thing, but he could stretch the floor for you. You know, if you can get this guy on a cheap, I don't know what his contract's looking like as far as when he's available or if he gets bought out next year, if he's on his last year, whatever the case may be, like Golden State would be a good fit, in my opinion. Uh, Boston wouldn't be too bad, but I like Golden State better. Boston needs a true center, in my opinion. But, but, um, but yeah, Kevin Love could be definitely useful somewhere else. Just don't send him to the Sacramento Kings or the Detroit yeah. Pistons. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, the dude, the dude has. I mean, there's so many teams like that shouldn't need him. The dude has unfortunate uh, amount of injuries that that does suck for him. But yeah, it's like you know, since he came back this year, it's like he still. I mean, just ain't you know. I mean, it is what it is. I I mean, Cleveland's playing. You know, they play have a lot of young guys. They're trying to develop, and he really don't fit there anymore. Like Aldridge, kind of in the Spurs, he don't really fit what they're trying to do there anymore. So I mean. uh, yeah, I mean, I think he, yeah, I think he should have been out already. But yeah, definitely this offseason, he got to request a trade, or they got to trade him, or they got to, they got to do something there because it just ain't, ain't meshing there much anymore. I agree with that one. Yeah. Speaking of injuries, Hugh, my last two guys I have on this list of in the shadows, unfortunately, because of I guess, hey, I guess we ain't going back to back. Huh? I guess we ain't going huh? back and forth. I mean, you got more. What's up? You saw like Meek Mill. Yeah, I got, I got three more. Throw it out there, dang, bro. Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons, bro. Dude is dude is trash, bro. You hear his name, bro? <laughs> this ain't I'm, that right, type right, of episode. Right, right, it's right, right. it's in the show. Man, I know. Sorry, you got salt. Sorry, I mean, sorry, you gonna throw sorry, Jamal sorry. Murray in there? No, you gonna throw no. Jamal Murray in there? No. All right, no, no. let me hear your take. Hey, this All is right. the part. This is this is this is the part. Maybe somebody's agreeing with you because I'm not saying it. That I mean, doesn't he, mean that. Uh, hey, that's, trash. Somebody's probably agreeing with you. Say it, okay. man. Well, let, let me let me just go ahead and say you you hear Ben Simmons, you think of all star, you think of you know all star caliber player. You know how big his name is, yeah, right? He makes it every but year. We so did an episode. Of years. We did an episode about overhyped and underhyped players, and he was on your overhyped list. So you should agree with me to some standpoint. The dude is a baller defensively. I mean, He's, but. I mean, he's he's. I mean, he's I do agree defensively. with you to some extent, but this is like the shadows. Like to me, Ben Simmons is as relevant as he's always been. Like, what do you expect from? Him? I don't expect that. Maybe that's my fault because, like I said, shout out to Moose. Moose has not been on here. Hopefully, if his schedule changes, he'll be on here in the future. But we had this conversation years ago, uh, early on, and when we talked about who's going to have the better career in the end between Ben Simmons and Jason Tatum, and I, obviously. I was biased to Duke, but just on top of that, I was like, I see more potential with Jason Tatum. Even Chris Sandrich, and you know who I'm talking about, Hugh. Uh, big sports guy, big sports better. Like, we talked, and he was like, last year, he was saying, he's like, man, I was wrong. No, or earlier this year, man, he's like, man, I was wrong about Tatum. Because he thought the same thing, not necessarily comparing Tatum to Simmons, but he just thought Tatum had already peaked. I was like, nah, man, this guy's got, this guy's got so much – ability like you're looking at it through a scoring perspective but he has to add more footwork and he has and he's adding more to his game I mean we're seeing it now it's I mean it's too late for me to bring this up now but I always was a firm believer that um Simmons what you're going to get with him is just consistency 
I mean, it's inconsistent. Ooh, excuse me, with this uh, scoring and whatnot. But I'm talking about consistency of that borderline triple double type of stat line. Like he's a uh, more athletic Draymond Green type of guy. You know what I mean? Like that is where I put him in the category. Like he contributes to the team. He helps them win. But I don't expect him to be like an ISO player. I don't expect him to go out average 20 points per game. I don't expect him to be Russell Westbrook when it comes to his triple doubles. I like expect Ben Simmons to be Ben Simmons. You know how yesterday in our podcast I said Kyrie does Kyrie stains. This is Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons is Ben Simmons stains. Like and what, that's just I mean, and I, and I totally get what you're saying. You know, he's not. You know, he's not a scorer like that. But you know, he helps the team win and stuff like that. But it's like, yeah, that's totally fine with me. If that's his role, that's his role. But I mean, I don't think he should be making an All Star game because I mean that just reminds me of a guy kind of. Don't like, run him in. Don't that's vote kind of him like in. Guy, I didn't vote him in, but that's kind of like. But a if, guy Mal- that if Malcolm Brogdon gets step up, he could take the spot. It, I mean, it's the East. They need to fill in the guard role, and unfortunately, Ben Simmons qualifies as a guard. He's a point guard. Yeah, Give but me I just some mean, other I mean, point guards. Dude... Maybe Lamelo Ball takes that spot next year, bro. The way he's playing, and people like him. I mean, I'd love to see him in All Star game throwing up lobs of different players. So it, it, maybe he'll take it. Trey Young didn't make it this year, but you know, some of that was due to injury. I mean, Ben Simmons keeps making it as a starter, right? Was he a starter this year? Maybe he wasn't. He was probably reserved. Um, I, I think he was a starter. But still, competition, man. Russ didn't make it. They were playing terrible at the beginning of the season. Season. But, yeah, man, he just – out the shadows. Let, I mean, all right, we can't do that yet. Let's <laughs> move on for Ben Simmons. All right, yeah, Lakers. The what? Oh, Ooh. oh yeah, the, the whole team. It. I'm just like yeah, um, I got the whole team. Just not a specific player. And I mean, you know that that's yeah. going to change. That's going to change. I'm just saying, as of currently, you know, can I throw with, off the Clippers. Can I say the Clippers out? on top of that? No, you get out of here with the. Clippers. They're in the shadows just because people don't talk about them a lot. But you they're actually he... under the shadows because they're performing well. But they went into the okay. shadows last year, and that's kept them under the radar. To be honest it's kind of like an underrated thing but that's all I wanted to say go ahead yeah it's just I mean the Lakers I mean obviously there ain't much to say about them we all know their situation I mean uh I didn't you know they've uh you know we all expected them to drop a little bit I mean so it's expected uh for them to drop but I just mean I mean they're you know half a game out from being in the play-in right now I think uh yesterday or the day before they were actually in seven seeds so they were actually in the play-in tournament so I mean yeah it ain't looking good in LA you know Braun finally came back and AD was back and we're like hey man Everything's good again in L.A. Well, no, A.D., it took him a while to knock all that rust off. Finally, he played pretty well last night. And then LeBron, what does he come back for one game? And then he's out, I think they already said, Thursday and Friday, and he misses pass games. So he's out another three games after that. So, I mean, there is some dire times right now in L.A. I mean, could you could you imagine if that team goes to the play-in and loses and then it doesn't even make the, like, the actual playoffs? Could you imagine Are you that? calling I mean, that right now? No, nah, I think they'll make it. Dang, because I was about to say, if you're calling that and you're a Lakers fan and you're listening to this, you have nothing to worry about. This guy is a bad sports jinx, but uh, wishful thinking there, I guess. Yeah. You finish your piece. All right, yeah, and then and then I just got one other team as a whole is the Pelicans. I got um, – What? Yeah, I mean, you know, Brandon Ingram, Zion, Lonzo, you know. I, I mean, I understand they're underperforming, but are they in the shadows, though? You I mean, they're underperforming to Zion a slight extent, but – they're, you just said they won today, and the and the Warriors lost. Like we're the Spurs. Okay. The game before that, the game before that. I don't think that, they're in the uh, shadows, though. They lost. Bro, are you who are you calling out, bro? Like I don't think I'm they're not, in the shadows. I'm the just West saying their team. Play. Their team is this not. Is I expected now. them to at least be. I expected them to at least be playing, and they're like a couple games behind the Spurs. So I mean, it would take That's a lot. Just them being to underrated, play. but are they in the shadows? They're relevant. They're relevant. I mean, I expected more from them. I think they're disappointed. They're not winning as many games as I thought they would. I understand that. They are disappointing. But what about the shadows, bro? Like, they're disappointing because you're paying attention to them in a way. Are they disappointing because they're, like, irrelevant? They're relevant. Yeah, they're not irrelevant, but I it's think just, you just in the shadow. Okay. You don't like what Zion, I, do you? I do like Zion. It's I just the block. Think... It's the block. Let's backfill. Oh, it's the block. Man. It's the it's the Duke-UVA game. And when DeAndre Hunter went to shoot the three and Zion – basically jumped from the paint and swatted it to like five rows back. That's what it is. All right. Go on with yours. 
<laughs> okay, so before you rudely interrupted me earlier when I was trying to segue into this and you were like, this is back and forth, when you brought up the injuries because we were talking about Kevin Love, I wanted to mention the, my other two guys on this list because of injuries, and they're both from Orlando, so you know what I'm talking about. That's Markel Fultz and Jonathan Isaac. Do you even know who I'm talking about anymore with these two guys? Yeah. So, yeah, they are in the shadows, unfortunately, due to everybody, injury. Everybody made fun of Markel Fultz's shot, and then J. Cole shot on him out and told him that he liked him. Didn't know that. I didn't know that. Did not know that. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I mean, Fultz, he's looking like he had a great opportunity coming in this season, leaving off where it was last season and injury again. And just jo- Jonathan Isaac, I feel like he's getting into the shadows because he won't be talked about. But this guy, if he's healthy for a whole season, he's an all-star. I kid you not. He's a fantasy stud, too. Like, this dude I have high hopes for, but it he needs to be healthy. He's like what I would think of how I – you know how I talk about Michael Porter Jr. and opportunity and stuff, and, like, if he had his own team, like, this is that guy. But he's dealing with injuries so much that you don't see it. Like, this is the, the guy right there. Like, he, you put him in with the younger guys – and he could do great things because he could play the power forward and the small forward. And he's got a shot and he gets defensive stats, which is great because you're talking about blocks and steals. Like this guy has the potential to be a defensive player of the year when he peaks, if he's healthy, like it's, this guy's amazing talent here. And I feel like it's premature to, to obviously try to do a PPF on him. And, you know, maybe when we gain some more followers or something and, and uh, we could do that and exploit that. But, this guy here, I mean, he's just in the shadows, and I'm just saying it now. When this guy comes out of the shadows, if he's healthy, I mean, I hope his career's not over because he's had back-to-back, like, major injuries, but um, this guy is going to be something to watch out for. You know how we, like, talk about Christian Wood, and, like, he had that journey, and this year, Hugh, you got bug bites? Yeah. Hugh? No, sorry, What's bro. going on over there? Bro, I just looked down at my arm, and I have cuts all up and down my arm, and I'm so confused. I don't know where it came from. It's all over my arm. It's like 20 cuts all up and down my arm. Right now. Kids, if you're listening, don't do drugs. Do not I mean, do I mean, drugs. Can you, can you see all these? I don't think we want to see all those. Sorry if you're eating. They're cut, 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 cut. Bro, cut, you went to the cut, gym. Who knows cut. what you did? You probably I rubbed didn't... your arm against one of the shrubs coming into the gym. <laughs> no. I don't but... know what you did. I don't, all right, yeah, sorry, go on. I'm sorry, I just got looked down and got shook by that. I don't know where that came from. Can you feel your face right now? I'm yeah. tagging this in the video. <laughs> I'm tagging in the video. I'm going to put it in the description of, um, you know, with the time marking, why kids shouldn't do drugs. <laughs> and that's what it's going to say. <laughs> I'm putting it in there, you. Uh, you all right, though? All right, look. You right, though? Yeah, I'm good. Are you all yeah, right, Yeah, let's though? go down the shadow. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, bro. All right. They don't hurt. I just looked down and saw it. Let's do out. Let's get out the shadow. Can I go first? Well, before we get out the shadows, I got to finish off the shadow. I got to close okay, the, the seal on the shadow. I'm wearing OKC for a reason. Oh, God. I ain't afraid to talk about my own team, bro. <laughs> we're in the shadow. Like, we're making the shade. Like, if you haven't joined the shade, you just get in. Like, we're going to hit that up. Like, we went from – underrated shouldn't have made the playoffs last year to we had that terrible losing streak and it's actually it's not the whole team i want to talk about it's just shay nobody talked about shay this year man poor shay man and plus he's hurt in the season this duke is like an all-star in the future but he's just in the shadows man chris paul left him and i was expecting more from the i mean this is a guy from a fantasy perspective i was like man this dude is about to average a triple double like why not he can do it but He's in the shadows, man. He's in the shadows. That that ends my shadow segment there on a low note. So you go ahead and start off. Who who's out or getting out? Who's climbing? Like, if we're talking about the grave, like, you know, thriller just came on. Like, who's about to start dancing on them? Knicks and Julius Randle. Oh, he's been I got dancing, the team bro. and he's specifically him dancing. as a whole. I'm talking about this whole season. No one expected the Knicks to be where they are. No one expected him to be born the way he is. And, and they are. I mean, the team, I would say off season, you know, start of the season, nobody ever talks about the Knicks. People talk about how bad they're going to be and, and stuff like that. So, I mean, but as the season started, you know, they were winning some. They weren't where they are now. But, you know, they were winning some. And you're like, all right, you know, they might, 
you know, not finished dead last uh, in the East this year and stuff like that. And then, I mean, the season went on. They're like, well, man, maybe they got playing. And then, you know, then they got past that. And they're like, man, you know, maybe they'll be, you know, out of playing. And then now I think they're up. They're the Golden the State Warriors so, of I mean, the East. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I agree with that. So, I mean, I just wanted to shout them out. Oh, I thought you, know. you were going to say something bad about that. But what I mean by that is because they didn't make the bubble uh, play-in tournament last year or, like, when they resumed the regular season in the bubble. So, somebody put in some work, bro. That was a lot of time off there. A lot of time off. Yeah, so who, who you got first? First? Or who you got? Cat. My one and only Instagram post, Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah, I got the Timberwolves as a whole, but I really thought about putting him down specifically. But but I, I agree with you on that one. He, I mean, he was in the shade sipping lemonade, bro. He was just like one of those guys. Yeah, he should have been great, like, for this season. Like I said, injury and COVID aside, but just it's the Timberwolves. So it's just like, yeah, we're doing this again. But, yeah, <laughs> the way they've been balling the last two weeks are coming out. If they could stay with this going into the next season, see, that's the thing. Teams change, and they have to be able to adapt to that too. But if they can keep rolling like this into next season, that's going to be cool. They should be top eight in the West. My next one is uh, – Dang. My, 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 third, my, my, my next one uh, – no, I told you. I said I got the Timberwolves as a whole, but I was thinking about writing Carl Anthony, though. But, I mean, I agree. You know, they started out terrible, but, I mean, as of late, you know, they – beat Utah back to back. They beat Golden State uh when Curry was on his hot streak uh last week, I believe. So I mean, yeah, I mean they're they're finally playing, you know, up to their ability and up the way I think a lot of people anticipate, especially Carl Anthony Towns himself. But I mean, you know, Malik Beasley's back from suspension. D'Angelo Russell uh is finally healthy. So I mean things are looking like, you know, with a healthy a healthy Timberwolves teams, you know, it wouldn't be it won't be miserable there, you know, at least playing, uh, in my opinion, if not higher out of playing, uh what I expect from the next year if they're able to with hold on to the guys that they have, if not gain a little bit with Anthony Edwards still developing and stuff like that. But, yeah, I agree with you. All right, so so my next player, I have written down um, this player, and then I have however this is possible, which, which it probably ain't going to make sense when I say his name, but Steph Curry. Steph Curry, I think it is, is out of the shadow. Steph shadows. Curry's out of the shadow. When Steph was he Curry in the shadows? Out of the shadow. Okay, when was he, uh, hear, when hear me was straight, he in the shadow? Hear me straight. All right, we, you know, beginning Bro, of the season. This list is based off 2021. This is not 2009. Yeah, just hear me out, bro. Beginning of the season, and, and you know, we you know we get the news about Clay. you know, before the season starts, and like, oh, man, another doomed, another doomed um, season in Golden State, you know, where, you know, we know how good Curry is, but he can't carry the team. He's never been able to carry the team. You know, expect them to not even be in the play-in, you know. And, and he, they're exceeding all that. Curry's shown this year that he has the ability to carry the team. Yeah, I mean, all the records he's broke. But that's let me salvage. Let me salvage this. Salvage this. There ain't nothing to salvage. You're just interrupting me because you don't agree with me. Yeah, because yeah, uh, Kelly Oubre, he's out of the shadows. Let's say that. Can we say that? I don't care. Roll with that. He's hurt. All right, go ahead and finish the Steph Curry. No, I ain't Steph got Curry. nothing else to say about it. I already said what I had to say. I want you to I want you to finish this one. That's all I had Kyrie to say. Kyrie Irving's out of the shadows because – finish it. Kyrie Irving is out of the shadows because – Because he's playing? <laughs> I'll give you that one. Um, DeMar DeRozan is out of the shadows because of – that ain't true. The oh, dude's balling. So he's in the, I, the, dude, the dude's balling. I love Demar, but he's not yeah. talking about. Nobody talks about him. He's getting he's getting out of the shadows because he's interested in going back to Toronto. That's kind of what I was getting at there. Lamarcus no, is know, gone. He was interested. Lamarcus in is gone. Um, they're going to be looking to keep playing the small ball with the young players, and Demar is already eyeing the uh, Toronto Raptors if Kyle Lowry wants to stay there if they can keep him there then he's interested in going there he's coming out he's coming out the shadows he could be the face of that franchise again i mean see Occam's there but dude what did drake say you like drake what did he say the city loves me like i'm demar Derozan. like mm -hmm. that's no joke he's from toronto so he's saying that because that's what the city thinks of demar Derozan. he's the kobe of toronto fair enough yeah. right fair enough yeah all right 
I like Demar. Right. I'm big on Demar. I just, I, it's a shame he don't play on more popular teams where he's discussed more. But Toronto, he like, go think back, he, bro. He go yeah. back. Yeah, he get more. He get more Toronto. noticed there than in of course. San Antonio. Yeah. Nobody notices San Antonio. It's the Spurs, bro. That's you got to understand their system. It's been like that for yeah. years. Even when Tim Duncan was like that, but he liked it like that though. You keep it low. You just win games and you just play. Like it's, it's, it's the market. Like that's just how the team is. So there's, there's nothing else I have to say about the Spurs. The Washington Wizards are out the shadows. They're, because they're on my list. I just said the Washington Wizards are out the shadows because. Finish it's it. Russell West. Russell Westbrook. What about him? He's balling. He ain't shooting as much, to be honest. Well, I knew, though, he put up 42, right? He put up 42, not last game, but the game before. But I think he said he took 30 shots to get there. So, I mean, that's a little bit – they won, I think. But that that's a little bit of that going back to his old ways a little bit. Like, Russ, we don't need you taking them. Give, give Bradley Beal some good looks. And that's what we need from you. I think they still won, but it's like, don't get back to that. So, this last game, he put up 14, and you know, only on 10 shots. So, that's a lot, a lot, a lot better of a shooting there. But, I mean uh, – you know, we know what he did with the assists and rebounds. But, yeah, I mean, he's doing – he ain't scoring like crazy, but, I mean, he's doing exactly what they needed to do, facilitating like Chris Paul does uh, in in uh, Phoenix, just able to crash the boards more. And he's just, you know, got a lot more explosion and athleticism than Chris Paul does at this point in his career. So it's just like a, a vamped up uh, a Chris Paul, in my opinion. But, yeah, the way he's playing, he the, the Wizards are living, living or dying by the way Russell Westbrook playing. And we saw at the beginning of the season – he wasn't really doing all this. I know he had occasional triple double, but I mean, he was shooting like he always shot and stuff like that. Yeah. And they were playing terrible. And I mean, about around the All Star break, uh, I guess somebody had a talk with him. I guess Bill pulled him to the side and said, "Let me do the shooting. You do everything else." And and it's working out for him. So so yeah. So uh, I agree with that. I got them written down. I say it, it's all about Russell Westbrook there. Even Bill, when he was a leading scorer, I mean, he still couldn't, you know, carry that team at all with how, how bad they were. So I mean. Uh, yeah, but now, you know, they got a system in place and, and they're playing one of the best, you know, some of the best basketball in the whole league currently right now. Hey, yeah, uh, shout out to the Wizards, bro. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head right there. Like, you just summed it all up. That was a great summary. You, you must have that written down. Not really. I said started out terrible. Westbrook playing great, and they are currently in the playing tournament. That's all I have written down. Sounds good to me. Scruff McGruff, Chicago, Illinois. Six zero six five. All right. Look, don't ask me why I put that in there. That just runs through my head every now and then. So I'm, when I was a kid, you probably don't even know what that is. It's like the crime solving dog. They used to advertise it on kids networks. Let me let me get my let me get my next one. Um, Charlotte oh, Hornets. Let me get my next. One. Okay. You just did the Wizards. That okay. was your technically pick, Charlotte. Okay. I put that. You know, they, you know, they've always, you know, this whole year, I think they, you know, they've been around mid, mid, uh, mid playoffs in the, in the East. So, I mean, they really changed there, but it's what impressed me a lot with Charlotte. And I think that has got them talked about a little more is with LaMelo going out, which what a lot of people said at first was all year. We know he's back now um, with LaMelo going out and also Gordon Hayward's injury. We're like, man, there, there's no way Charlotte's going to withstand where they are. You know, they're going to drop. Like I remember saying on the podcast on here, we talked about, um, teams and you know if we thought they were gonna um go down in the standings up in the standings about staying the same and I said man Charlotte no way they're staying I think they were like fourth fifth sixth at the time I said they're dropping I said I don't even see them making the playoffs even playing so I mean they're a big surprise to me you know I think a lot of their guys have stepped up and you know even without LaMelo and Gordon Hayward like I said they were still able to win games win a lot of games and I think they're currently I don't know sixth in the in the east I think they're not even in playing uh which is of you know playing better than Miami Heat a better record than them you know who have Bam and Jimmy Butler you know for for most of the year I don't think they missed much time so I mean it's just impressive for Charlotte you know I think I still don't think they're talked about as much as they should be but I mean uh, you know the record speaks for themselves and especially all the adversity they'd have to go through uh, this year I love a hey, speaking of Charlotte man there there ain't a more hype announcer in the league than their announcer when Miles Bridges does that dunk or like. Every I get goosebumps listening to him, bro. Like he's so hype, and 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 I <laughs> love it. But but yeah, shout out shout out Charlotte, shout out the baby, uh, J Cole. You know I had to go there, but but yeah, oh I mean, my Charlotte, gosh. Uh, still an underrated team, underrated team in my opinion, but a definitely team that I think deserves to be talked about more. That that's balling this year. 
And I, I still don't see them doing much in the playoffs. I still think they're, you know, a player or two away from actually giving uh, some of the top teams in the East a run. But, but yeah, shout out Charlotte, man. They're on the they're on the right track. Yeah, shout out to Charlotte. Uh, you, that all you got to say? That's all I got to say. I'll just let you finish that up. You clean that up with the biscuit, bro. I like it. Fair You're enough. on a roll tonight, enough, man. Like I said, I didn't really take hey. a lot of notes. I just wrote down scribbles and stuff. Like, oh, let me throw this in there, throw that in there, and let you go to town. What's up? Who you got? Hey, what? Huh? You got nothing to say? Who you got? All right. Who you got? Who is out? Phoenix Suns. Where are they out of the shadows? Is it first in the West right now? Well, actually, no, Utah Brandon. won tonight, didn't it? So I don't know if they're still first. No, did Utah? I don't know. Wait, man, I could be wrong. I didn't look at the standings right before I got on here. I guess we should make that happen. Actually, I think They're Phoenix always... was still well, first. Sometimes I think, there's games I think Phoenix was still first. Doing this too. But... Yeah. yeah, man. Why yeah. are they out, though? Chris Paul. Chris Paul. Chris Paul. Right? Yeah. Yeah, Booker still playing at an all-star level, two all-stars. I mean, it was a no-brainer here. It's almost like when we did our MVP discussion yesterday, it was like some of those are no-brainers. But, yeah, I mean, I just had to put them on the list just because of respect. They're out of the shadows. I would put the Utah Jazz, but I don't feel like they were as shadowed of a team because it's not as big of a comeback story. But it is impressive that they're that high up on the uh, – I mean, for the state, it's like the whole year, bro. Like that is – in the West, that's impressive. That's tough. That's like some back in the day Golden State Warriors stuff right there. But, but yeah, I mean, um, Phoenix, yeah, shout out to Tavern Geek again. Just the Suns are, are balling this year. So, you know, it's got to make it past the first round in order for it to be kind of locked in there as far as like that was a great season. You know, it's definitely been a great regular season. So at least get out of the first round. And if not further, then solidify that there but yeah hopefully they stay out of the shadows uh, i mean the worst case scenario for them is if like chris paul decides to leave after this year and who's to say where the phoenix Suns might be looking at after that if they don't find some type of replacement there in that position i mean there it's hard to replace chris paul as far as what you get from basketball iq and floor general but um yeah i don't know if we want to see the phoenix Suns without chris paul next year maybe too early for that especially if he goes to another team that he, he could possibly make better in the same fashion in the West. That'd be kind of crazy. So, Yeah. Yeah. I feel you there. Shout out Chris Paul. Um, I want to, uh, I got, I got Denver written down, bro. They were in the shadows. They weren't in the shadows because you have salted with Jamal Murray, man. You were just, you just put salt all over him. I don't see where they no, were in the shadows. Okay. You, you I just played, told you, you at the beginning of the season, it's bubble fatigue. Bubble fatigue is a you, real you, thing. I, it's a real thing. Okay, well, well, no matter what, they weren't playing up to their standards. Okay? They bubble weren't, you know, fatigue. the season started out, and you, that's you say bubble fatigue. Which that's, that's legit. I mean, that's legit. Yeah, I know. That's legit. But, I mean, they started out. I mean, might as uh, well just look okay, Miami Heat. Miami Heat. Miami Heat. I didn't want to have them, though. Why not? No, I wasn't going to Denver. I was saying – you know, they, they were playing real good. They were fourth. Jamal Murray goes down. We're like, man, you know, I hope, you know, they might slip a little bit without their star point guard or any of that. Jokic says, no, nah, I don't think so. And they actually go. They actually rise. They actually pass the – But Jokic's been, late, like, leading the MVP boards here last month. I mean, I can see if you even said the Milwaukee Bucks because they're not talking about that much after the way they lost last season in the uh, playoffs. All right. You just, I mean, yeah, I, I see where you're coming from. They were never really in the shadows. It's just a team that, that I think, you know, they started out the season poor and they've just gotten better as the season went on. And then after Jamal Murray, they went through that adversity and they're actually, I mean, still playing at that same level they were and actually took the third spot over. So, I mean, it was just impressive to me. So, after you said that, I just want to mention the Brooklyn Nets. They're out of the shadows. Oh, my God. No, I did not have the Brooklyn Nets in there. Come on, you. That didn't make any sense, but you can argue that too, right? Nope. They were in the shadows. Oh, when were they ever every in the KD shadows? Every time Katie goes out, every time Kyrie goes out, every time James Harden goes out, they're in the shadows. That's what they I mean. Win. They can't win this without Kevin Durant. So when he's in the shadow, when he goes out, they're in the shadows. 
The New York Knicks are the better team in the in New York. <laughs> Get. <laughs> All right, he didn't just say that. I got one more team right now. That's Boston. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not even entertaining that thought. Um, I got one other team written down. That's Boston. Um, you know, anybody who has been watching our podcast or watch basketball the first half of the year knew me and D's feelings on uh, the Celtics, how they were a joke and they had way too much talent to be where they were and that they were lacking a big man. So what do they do on the trade deadline? They trade Tice and get Evan Fournier. That that was their plan in Boston. And everybody's like, what the How's he been playing? hell? Or, what the hell? Oh, trash, trash. But, uh, Everybody's like, what are they? Is know, he in the shadows? Doing? Will he come out? No, he ain't coming out. Come out in retirement is what he can do. But uh, nah. So, I mean, yeah. So he should be playing like, for man, Brooklyn. Oh, my gosh. Get out of here with that. Uh, uh, the all-star, you know, all-star break, if that happened uh, with the trade deadline, and we're like, man, uh, you know, it looks like more of the same. You know, that we know how good Tatum and Jalen Brown is and Kimba when he plays. But he sits a lot. But we know how good they are. But it's just like, man. They're still missing pieces. Well, they've kind of turned it around since All Star break. They've been balling. Uh, they've went up in the standings a little bit. I still think they're no. Char- I lied. Charlotte, I think is seventh. I think Boston sixth. I think if I remember correctly, I think Boston was sixth. But I mean, you know, still, I think beginning of the season you were still anticipating them maybe like fourth uh, behind, um, you know, uh, Sixers and and uh, Nets and and Bucks. You know, somewhere around there. So I mean, they're still a little lower than uh, people thought, but. But just from uh, where you're getting at, from where they were to where they currently are, I think they've came out of the shadows. Yeah, I mean, they were in, definitely in the shadows because of, <laughs> I don't know. I want to blame their GM. I don't want to blame Tatum or Brown or anything. I mean, Brown did his thing, made the, uh, made the all-star team. I mean, is Kimba in the shadows? Like, they're relevant. They, they're talked about because – of the scrutiny of where they were at, like you said, record wise. But um, it was just, it's just ugly. Cause it's like, how far will they, are we expecting them to get now, even though they're playing better ball in the playoffs? Like it's almost shocking if they make it out of the first round because they didn't pick up a big guy and they added Fournier for whatever reason. Yeah. And, that, and that's the thing, you know, I haven't making the playoffs easy, but it's like, man, once you, when you line up with teams, uh, you know, you got a guy like Giannis or you got a guy like Embiid or, you know, any of those guys who have elite big men like that, I think it's going to be extremely, extremely tough uh, in a seven-game series for that. So, yeah, I don't see them going too far in the playoffs, but I think they'll continue playing decent uh, until then. Yeah. I mean, they're going to be decent. Not to not to make this into another different type of segment, but, yeah, I mean, they're, they're out of the shadows for now, but I'm going to say that GM put them there, and he's going to put them right back there if they don't do anything this offseason. I, it'd be shocking if they make it into the second round. Like, I'm just going to have to say that. I hate to say that, though. Hey. hey I hate to say I was, that. I was done. Really? It's all right. It's all right. I was done. But I just looked up at the TV, and they're doing the replay of the Brooklyn Milwaukee game. And I got I got one other player I want to throw in there. All right. It's out the shadows. It, it's Blake Griffin. Ew. Why are we talking about Blake? No, nah, bro. No, no. Hear me out. Hear me out, bro. All right. The dude, dude's in Detroit not doing nothing. He finally says, you know. Uh, you know, I'm going to sit, you know, we're going to sit till contract battle's done. He wasn't even playing, you know, ain't dunks in, in two mm-hmm. years. And and now mm-hmm. the dude, uh, he goes to Nets, and, I mean, he's not the, the primary dude. He's, like, fourth down or whatever. But, I mean, uh, mm-hmm. you know, he's balling. He's dunking again. He looks like he's having fun, enjoying basketball. <laughs> uh, he's putting up double-digit points a game. I think he's even had a double-double or two since going to there. So, you know, he's crashing boards. He's doing, you know, he's not playing at the level he once was. But, I mean, he's playing a lot better than he was towards the end of Detroit. Uh, you know, he's dunking it, like I said. You know, he's just having fun. So. Uh, shout out to, to Blake Griffin. I, mean, I like you know, to say the shadow. You're you're finally talked about again. Sometimes that's what happens with some of these veterans is like they play on a team and they don't want to give everything they got, obviously, because it's like to no avail. Like it's not going to really get you anywhere. This team's not contending for playoffs. You might wind up hurting yourself. So it's almost like they do have some of that little bit left in the reserve. And then when they get into a situation where it's like I can actually contribute on my personal level as far as how much I want to, and it still becomes effective towards scoring and the ultimate goal of winning. And that's probably what happened here. I mean, he's not that old. I mean, Blake Griffin's not not old, but um, but yeah, as a fourth option, yeah. I mean, if he's dunking, yeah, I guess you could say his dunk package is out of the shadows. It's not like it used to be, obviously, but I mean, it went from um, 
like a 30 to a 50, you say, maybe a 60 rating. <laughs> I'm asking, you're watching. Sure. <laughs> I'm asking. <laughs> I'm asking. So, so anyway, he's, yeah. Well, what about the, the Miami Heat? Where are they? Are they in, in and out? Are they in the gray area? Nah, like, nah. To be honest, no. I, I, I thought shadows. about putting Miami down, but then I'm like, I mean, man, but where are they? Why did you think they, about they that? Made because the they're like, last year. They're right, right here, bro. They're like in that area. You don't know which side to put them on because at times they're playing great. And then at times they're just kind of like, all right, where they're at, you know, we're looking for more consistency, more step up. They should be higher up in the standing, something like that. I mean, Bam's playing really great now though. I mean, yeah. It's bubble yeah, fatigue. I agree with That's you what there, it is. But I mean, you know, it, it's not like, in my opinion, they went from really good to really bad or really bad to really good. They've just been, you know, sometimes they play decent, the sometimes area. they don't play as decent. So, yeah, probably like bouncing around there in the middle. I wouldn't have them uh, one way either. I mean, they're seventh. So, I mean, honestly, you know, they made the finals last year and, you know, Bams is playing better and they got Jimmy Butler and Tyler Hero, all those type of guys. But so, I mean, I probably would expect them to be a little higher, but I mean, you know, at least, at least they're seventh. So, so they're in the gray area. Let's just say probably on the west. Who are you thinking is the gray area? Dallas. Dallas? Okay. Um, we're around the same area. I was thinking Portland's in that gray area. No, Portland, too. Like, I was considering Portland, but probably yeah. Dallas for me. Okay. Yeah, I was like, I never felt like they uh, – Portland was completely in the shadows as far as, like, they're not talked about because they are talked about, but then they're not completely out of the shadows because it's like – well, now Narkic is coming back from injury and McCollum's coming back. So it's like you got to make yourself re-relevant and, you know, seeing where they end the regular season. Porzingis, Porzingis, in my opinion, is in the shadows. Man, even, when played, the shadows even when he plays, even when he plays. Yeah, that's why I'm saying. I didn't want to put him You ain't even hear him. Even when he's he plays, you hear nothing about him. Nothing about him. Is he coming out? Is he coming out? Out the year? shadow. Out the shadow. Valentunis. Valentunis. <laughs> I've been he telling should you about be out Valentinus. the shadow. He out the shadow. He balling. Go ballin'. ahead and talk about it. You you big on this guy. You need to get a Valentinus yeah. jersey. Jonas Valentinus, man. That boy, he's like averaging a straight double double here lately. I mean, the dude's been I'm like 20 plus points a game. Like he's not just been like 10, 11 points a game. It's like 20 plus points a game. Like he's been going crazy like the last month in Memphis. I mean, everybody been talking about Steph Curry, but that's a guy too. Been balling. I think a couple 20 plus rebounds. Steph Curry games. and so, I mean, Yeah. Hey, it's a duo right there. <laughs> nah, nah, we was just talking about big man. Back on we're one. talking about Porzingis. Hey, but it's crazy. You know what? Just like, well, uh, Jonas is we're talking about potential of getting out of the shadows. I have written down Jaron Jackson Jr. You know, he's not doing a lot right now because he just now basically started playing for the regular season here. And I don't know how good he'll look. He actually came back. I don't even know he came back. Playoffs, but, but yeah, I mean, but for next year, though, look out for this guy. You know, he yeah. needs to stay healthy. And whatever his next healthy season is going to be, it's going to be a breakout season for him. Yeah. yeah shout I out agree. to Jared Memphis, Jackson right? Has a shout out to lot Memphis, of right? Yeah. Yeah, shout out Memphis, man. That's a, definitely a team that's under the radar. I mean, I, I don't know how well their they're playoffs things are. I think they're in. Well, yeah, they're ninth seed team, right bro. now. They're ninth seed. So, I mean, they'll have to do a little work in the play-in uh, right now. But, but, yeah, shout out Memphis. Barbecue. Barbecue. Yeah. Barbecue. I feel you. But that's the, that's all I got. That's all you got. That's all I that's got. Because we already talked about the Timberwolves, and that was the last team I wrote down. You, yeah, that was you the last team said I wrote earlier. Down. You said it earlier, Carl Anthony. But you said it. I said Carl Anthony. Oh, well, and then you were I like, "Yeah, I got the whole okay. Timberwolves team." Okay. But that was the last. That's literally the last word I have written down on the paper at the bottom. Timberwolves. What's yours? I lost them. My, my no, my last thing I ever know is Timberwolves. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. So shout out to Minnesota. Shout out to Moose. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, I once got... again, once again, hey, we're hitting up Virginia. We talked about this in the last episode. Things to do in Virginia. We're going to Short Pump, right outside of Richmond. Uh, I think that part of Virginia was named after because of back in the day that used to go there for like, I guess, to refuel gas or, <laughs> or trains. I can't remember. It's something to do with the actual name short pump. It's like where you go to refuel on, on your way uh, through Virginia when it came to uh, transportation back in the day. 
and that's why it's called short pump. So not a very good detailed description of, of that, but in some relevance, that's why. Hugh, what are you looking forward to doing down at short pump? Playing golf. Fair enough. Going to drive shack. Are you actually playing golf or are you kind of just, hmm? Well, it's drive shack, so it's not actually golf. It's like, a, it's just a huge driving range. That's what it is, a driving range, not a golf range. I'm excited to, to do this vlog. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully gotcha. that works. And you know, if if it works, then y'all see it. If it don't, then I don't guess y'all see it. But hopefully, we can get a little content out for you guys. Leave in the comments if you're listening to this part, which you might not be. But Hugh, what what gear you might pick up? Are you going to uh, DSG Dick Sporting Goods? Are you looking for any right. uh, basketball apparel there or shoes? I'm like, yeah, you you know this obviously, but I I want to get my hands on the Dame Damian Lillard jersey. So that that's probably my next. Hey, you better get to be ready, bro. You better get ready because I'm getting ready for it. I I, I got it coming on the way. Yeah, I ain't hop on it like that. I got some expenses coming up, but yeah, that'd be my. That's hey, my some next people owe you some money though. Some people that owe you some money. Yeah, some people owe me some money. I'm gonna get my money. Don't you worry about that. I'm gonna get what's mine. I ain't money. worried about it. You don't want to say, "Hey, I'm gonna cop this." Don't you get it? But. And you and you got, got it anyways. So. We, we got stuff to do. We got PPFs to cover. Who hey, who wants to see a Damian Lillard PPF? You? Dame Dollar. I want to do a PPF on his rapping. That's what I'm saying. That's part of the PPF. Yeah, that boy hard. Him and Shaq dissing each other. Shaq didn't stand a chance. I don't even know why he tried. Man, Shaq used to rap back in the day, bro. Yeah, but he ain't like Dame. Like Dame's like a legit. I mean, Dame's rap style than, like, was different back then. Right rap style was different, dude. Shaq used to rap with the what they call fusionikins, if I'm saying that right. Yeah, you just made up a word right there. It is a made up word, bro. And they one of those guys um, raps really, really fast, really, really fast. Like, yeah, y'all don't know. Like Bust the rhyme, so Bust the rhyme. Faster. Yeah, that's that's cap. All right, fine. Hey, hey, if when we get can we get when we get fifty subscribes, subscribers, can we get a hair reveal? No. How about hey, you get dude, the fifty subscribers? Where they at though? Hey, How you been hey, putting in work? Hey, this Why don't you reveal your hair? Have long, hey, hold on, I'm talking. This dude used to have long hair. I don't care if you're talking. And then he told me he you're told me about he cut me. it. You he watch your like mouth. A, he cut it and said it's like, a, like Jimmy Butler, but a little shorter. And guess what? That's been like two weeks ago, and he still won't let me see. I still ain't been able to see him. And I see him every day. He ain't got sure yet. Yeah, so I'm trying to see it. So my give me, an, my give me an incentive. Uh, we're going to be at short pump, so I'm not wearing a hat then. The people, oh, they go see it on the vlog. <laughs> Who's vlogging this? You are. It is gonna be a little rough though, because we ain't yeah, got, we you're gonna do duck, editing. You're gonna be right ducking now. and diving. You won't even be around me. You're gonna be off somewhere, like standing in the corner, looking at pond, waiting for goldfish, throwing coins. Hey, in the pond. if we go to that in one place, I might, I might cop a Drake jersey. So that's something I might cop. You can go in there. I'm not going in there. For what purpose? You went in there last year with me. Yeah, but I'm not going in there this year. I don't need to look in there for anything. Yeah, you go come in there with me. You ain't tell me what I'm doing. No, I'm not going in there. Hey, he's coming in there. I need to go. Hey, it's nope, all right. You I got all the jerseys right there. here. They don't even sell the authentic jerseys. All right, bro. It's still cool to look at. You liked it last time. You liked it last time. Maybe I liked it because you liked it. It's called That's, bro support. All right. Well, I like it again this year, so you can like it again. Nah, I'm done. It's 2021 now, bro. I got to move on. All right. You don't come and express with me. And that's on no, NBA 2K. They represent those suits. You don't go in there. Yeah, no thanks. Exactly. Point taken. So, All right, let's somebody wrap help this us out. This guy out with fashion. Who do you think I got that blazer for you? From? Huh? Yeah, Express. I know where you got it. Yeah, tell the viewers about the blazer you got. He got me a gold. Tell the people who dressed blazer. D made me have. No, tell them about the blazer. It's a black blazer, and what's on the interior? The interior it's print all, of the blazer there, it's all, has all, it's all gold state printed in it. Who dresses yeah, it's you? Pretty dope. It's pretty dope. D, Who D dresses you? Tell the people. I Who's, just do. You wearing my stuff right now? 
Yeah, D got me his jersey for Christmas, I believe. No, you gave me – yeah, this this one Christmas and then Clay Thompson next Christmas, right? Yeah. Or was his birthday? And? Was his birthday? No, that's Christmas, right? Yeah, and the hat. He just got me the hat here recently. He got me a beanie. Got me a terrible the Jimmy Butler shirt. Got me a Kawhi Leonard shirt. I wait for this guy I, to I get. I ain't from here. I wait for this guy to get a Damian Lillard jersey. It's going to be twenty twenty five. Like Dame Lillard's probably got two years left in the league. Probably two months left in the league. Twenty twenty seven. Yeah. I'll hop yeah. On really. Yeah, you will give an outro. Just give a jersey, man. Just give a jersey. Yeah, no, for Dame, I want actual jersey. Well, go get the actual jersey. I'm going to get it. All right, do this outro. My, 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 uh, my, my AirPods not dead. You do the outro. Peace and love. No, nope, that's me. <laughs> Be original. That's mine. <laughs> nah, yeah. Appreciate anybody watching at this point. This is, man. Credits to you. Kudos to you. That's off to you. People do this, bro. I'm not going to lie. People watch the first 30 seconds and then the last 10. So this is the this is the most important part right here. Well, I hope you learned about in the shadow and out the shadow. Nah, no, nah, I didn't just, hear I'm any of that part of the podcast. They skipped over that. This is I'm the real joking. deal right here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just joking. But yeah. Shout out, shout out all y'all. Like I said, we appreciate y'all. Leave in the comments, what what game should we maybe attempt to go to yeah. next year if it's not too expensive? DC, the Wizards versus who? Home game. Hopefully things open back up uh, and we try to go up there to DC. That's another bro, thing about you can't Virginia. Tell me, bro, Virginia you can't tell me you don't want to see. Let's talk about Virginia again. We're, no, we ain't got we're to two hours here. from we're about two hour drive from Washington DC. Uh, longer like, than that. Even what though you, we're yeah, we this dude, two, this, this the guy that drops ninety dollars there state. Two hours is a lie. We live two hours from Richmond. We live at least another hour from DC, at least. Bro, I don't live two hours from Richmond. Sorry, you live in the sticks, like you said in the last. We podcast. live twenty minutes away I from each other. A, yep, yep, and I get to Richmond in about an hour and a half, hour and twenty minutes. Yeah, and he drives 90 miles an hour, too. He don't even realize. He just looks down and because you don't say it's cruising. He's going 90. Well, nope. I don't go 90. Nope. You told me you were. You don't know what I drive because you're not in there. No, nah, nope. I want to see Curry in person, though. Come on, we can do that. I know you're not what? a big Golden State fan, but you can't tell I'm me. I'm changing you don't the subject. Curry. I'm talking about D.C., no. places to go yes, in Virginia. Yes, you said, who do you, you, said, who do you want to go away. see? Warriors, no, nope. uh, that was for that was for the that was for the viewers and the listeners, not for you here. All right, I'm sorry, you've ruined your chances. Don't get all, right, all pouty yours. on me. I'm Look not at you. Pouty. I gave my outro, so you give yours. Some of us got. You didn't give it anything. You didn't give an outro. I didn't hear it. You stole mine. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't do well with people making disses and making threats. You know me. Like, get out of here, Hugh. There's Drake again. Woyoy. Woyoy, I like that. That's your outro. That's what you uh, need to start that's, saying. That's my outro. Give me a Boy sub. Way. Get that down. Give me a sub. No tomatoes. Because <laughs> if I get, yeah, give me a sub. No Boy tomatoes. Way. Because if I get those veggies, boy, boy, that's what you need to say. Give me a sub. No tomatoes. Because if I get them veggies, boy, boy. <laughs> I like it. Boy, boy. Right. Yeah. I don't even know what to say anymore. Yeah, this has been episode 25. 25, two months in. Thank you for all the viewers, all the listeners out there, all the support. We're hoping to keep this thing going and, and keep generating more more followers and more listeners. Just, you know, we're passionate about the content that we're getting out here and we got more things we like to share. I know some of it might sound redundant, but, you know, things change on the daily. So it's kind of like, it's kind of cool to bring things back up because they're so relevant when it comes to, you know, you mentioned this the other day, but now it's kind of come to, uh, come the truth and and or or not you know it could be one way or the other but there's always things to talk about we we have a long list of players that we can cover when it comes to ppfs uh so we got to definitely get on that and yeah man maybe we'll do the first vlog type of video this weekend like shoot some videos and then edit it and then get it out to y'all like two months later in july i don't know uh we'll, we'll see what happens but i think i lost Hugh over there um he probably either got swept up by the wind. Uh, he's probably overdosing on goldfish and Cheez-Its 
or he's seeing ghosts again. I'm not sure what's happening over there, but um, but he's already out. So I'm going to wrap this up. You know, if you like this video, give us a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and also check us out on Anchor.fm and Google Podcasts, Pocket Casts, and Spotify for the audio only versions of our podcasts under Kish YZ. And also, you know, follow us on Twitter and Instagram under Kish YZ. That's K I S H underscore YZ for there. And then also, yeah, here on YouTube, if you're listening to audio only, check us out on YouTube under Kish YZ, K I S H and a space YZ. Once again, I'm D and that was Hugh. Thanks, everybody. Peace and love.